It was the 19th night of the month of Ramadan. Imam Ali السلام, felt the affliction of the calamity that night. He was overwhelmed by grief and sorrow. He repeated these words, By Allah, I have not lied nor have I been lied to. It is the night which I have been promised. Lady Um Kulthum, his daughter, is reported to have said, At the 19th night of Ramadan, I served my father with a plate that contained two loaves of barley bread, a bowl of milk, and a quantity of crushed salt. When he finished his prayer, he sat down to break his fast. When he saw what I had served him, he nodded his head, wept and said to me, O oh my daughter, I will not eat anything before you remove one of these two foods. When I did, my father ate one loaf of barley bread with some salt. He then praised and thanked Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thereafter, he engaged himself in prayer once again. He kept on offering prayers and beseeching Allah the Almighty continuously. He would constantly come out of the house whilst looking at the sky. He knew something was about to happen. He then recited the entire Surah Yaseen. Imam Ali السلام, then slept for a few moments and woke up hurriedly, shaken. He wiped his face with his dress, stood up on his feet, and prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O Allah, bless our journey of death. O Allah, bless our meeting with you. He would then often repeat the statement, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-ali al He then ordered his sons and daughters to gather around him and said to them, In this month you will lose me. I have just seen a dream. They asked him, What have you seen? He answered, In my sleep, I have seen the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, saying to me, O oh, Abul Hassan, you will very soon come to us. The most wretched of all people will come to you to dye your grey-haired beard with the blood of your head. I am truly eager to see you. These words made all the children of Imam Ali weep heavily. However, Imam Ali السلام, ordered them to be patient and submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the darkest hours of the night, Imam Ali السلام, did not stop praying to Allah. He then performed the ritual ablution, the wudu, perfectly, readied himself for leaving the house to perform the Fajr dawn prayer. When he السلام, came to the courtyard of the house, the domesticated geese which had been gifted to Imam al Hassan السلام, started shouting and swaying their wings. The Imam السلام, thus predicted the infliction of the catastrophic misfortune. He therefore went on repeating the statement, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. He then said, These shouts will very soon be followed by lamentations. Imam Ali السلام, then headed towards Masjid al Kufa. He was known as the father of the orphans whom he had supported and nourished all his life. Yet those steps to the mosque would be his last outside the house and the orphans would now lose their father forever. He reached the mosque and recited the Adhan. There was no house in Kufa except that it heard the voice of the commander of the faithful. He then went to wake people up whilst glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He reached a man by the name of Abdul Rahman ibn Muljam, who was sleeping on his stomach, hiding his sword underneath. Imam said to him, Arise from the sleep that is despised by God. This is the sleep of the Satan. Then Imam said to him, You are about to do something that will cause the heavens and the earth to break apart and shake. Then he left him. Imam Ali السلام, then walked towards the mihrab. He began the prayer. The wretched Ibn Muljam stood up, ran towards the Imam, and then hid himself behind the pillar in the mosque. He waited until Imam went down to prostration for the first ruk'ah. And when Imam just raised his head, Ibn Muljam struck him fiercely with his poison sword, splitting his holy head in two. Imam Ali السلام, then said, Bismillah wa billah. وعلى ملة رسول الله فزت ورب الكعبة in the name of Allah 
and by Allah and on the path of the Messenger of God, by the Lord of the Kaaba, I have attained victory. The angels cried, the heavens shook, a dark wind engulfed the city. Jibra'il cried between the heavens and the earth, Tahaddamat wallah arkanul huda, wantamasat wallah nujumus sama wa ala muttuqa, wanfasamat wallah al urwatul wuthqa, kutil ibn ammil mustafa, kutil al wasiyul mujtaba, kutil aliyun al murtaba, kutil sayyidul awsiya, katalahu ashkal ashkia. By Allah, the pillars of guidance have been demolished. The stars of the sky and the signs of the pious have been extinguished. By Allah, the rope of Allah has been cut. The cousin of Muhammad and Al-Mustafa has been killed. The guardian Al-Mujtaba has been killed. Ali Al-Murtaba has been killed. By Allah, the master of the successes has been killed. He was killed by the most wretched of all the wretched.